Welcome to the Movie Academy. Today I'll show you a Japanese drama series from 2022 called Fishbowl Wives. Based on popular Japanese adult manga series by Kurosawa R, the story revolves around six different wives who live in the same luxury apartment building. They live in unhappy marriages and eventually cross the line into infidelity. I divided this drama series into four parts. Let's dive into part one and focus on the fishbowl wife and the outsourcing wife. Before that, don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and notification buttons. Sakura Hiraga and Takuya Hiraga are married couples and hair salon business partners. They live in a luxurious penthouse apartment 4301. Sakura Hiraga, the fishbowl wife and main character in the entire drama series, connects with the other wives. Her life seems glamorous, and many neighbors envy her. But, her husband Takuya repeatedly cheats on her. At her swanky birthday party, some salon workers whispery discuss her husband is fooling around, whether she knows about that. She only invites the neighbors on the 15th floor or higher as her party guests. Some neighbors thought her husband must love her so much to hold this fancy birthday party for her. Meanwhile, her husband is making love with another neighbor's wife, Yuriha. After having sex, Yuriha intentionally sprays Sakura's perfume in their bathroom. On the other hand, Sakura greets her guests and introduces Mei to other wives. Mei is a fortune teller specializing in feng shui. She can give them personal advice if they come to see her on the 33rd floor. She suggests buying goldfish to improve marital relations. Mei also mentions the infidelity and destined partner. Another wife praises Yuriha's smell as fantastic. Yuriha loudly replies, it's Malinir's gold rose, and purposely lets Sakura knows. Then, Takuya announces a new specialized store as her birthday gift and promotes the feature of that store. After the birthday party, Sakura notices that someone has opened the perfume, and she is aware that her husband and Yuriha had been cheating there earlier. When she enters the room, she feels sad and wants to ask Takuya about that. But, Takuya ignores her and asks her to post the birthday party photo on Instagram, which can help to promote their business. She feels depressed. The following day, she has done the grocery shopping. She discovers a goldfish shop and remembers what the fortune teller said on returning. Suddenly, a goldfish shop owner, Haruto Toyota, accidentally spills the water downstairs and spills the water on Sakura. He immediately apologizes and gives the towel to her. After that, she gets inside the shop and looks around. Instant sparks are flying between Haruto and her. He introduces one of the goldfish types called Sakura Ryukin, the same name as Sakura. She wants to buy it, but she is first to ask her husband's opinion. So, she asks him to reserve that goldfish for her. Takuya is dominant in this marriage. Once she goes home, Takuya feels fed up and heads to the bedroom. She instantly asks his opinion on keeping a goldfish. He replies, up to you, and slams the door. Her husband doesn't love her anymore, and she feels unloved. The next day, she cleans up the stuff at the hair salon. When the staff show her the new salon's layout, Takuya angrily orders them to show him first. Then, he carries on to have sex with Yuriha. He believes that his wife won't leave him whether she knows his cheating. After that, Sakura stares at the river on the seafront for deep thinking. Haruto bumps into her and asks her about the consideration of having a goldfish. Then, they return to the goldfish shop. She acquires much goldfish information from Haruto. Also, she helps Haruto out to serve foreign customers. Because of the interaction between clients, she feels better. After buying a goldfish, she returns home and opens a storage box. She looks at all her hairstyles stylist equipment and achievement. She was a hairstylist and enjoyed communicating with clients before. Due to an accident, she gave up her dream. Her hands shake after the surgery, and she cannot be a hairstylist anymore. Takuya comes back and finds her taking scissors and also keeping a goldfish. He interrogates her, what is she implying? Does she want to work in the salon again? It's impossible with her injured hand. It's no use trying to lure away his staff. She feels frustrated and says that she doesn't mean that way. But, he furiously breaks down the fishbowl. She protects the goldfish with her hands when he wants to step on it. He blames her and says he won't do that if she accepts to take it back. Sakura runs to the goldfish shop to save the goldfish. Arriving at the rooftop, Haruto puts the injured goldfish into the water and adds salt water. He spots that she gets hurt, brings the first aid kit and dresses a wound for her. Since her husband doesn't care about her for a long time, this caring behavior makes her warm and complicated. Then, he takes her on a boat ride. He tells her that he'll always be by her side and protect her while riding a boat. He encourages her to shout out at the river to release the mental stress. In the afternoon, they travel to several places for relaxation. At the same time, her husband is having sex with his staff, Nini, to vent his unsatisfactory. As he thinks that Sakura owes him a lot, cheating isn't his fault, and he can mistreat her. Takuya doesn't care why she takes much time returning a goldfish and sneers at her at night. 
he says that he promotes another staff, Nini, to be a new store manager. Then, she becomes fearful and says she wants to work in a salon, at least doing odd jobs or whatever she can do. Takuya slaps her and attempts to rape her. He thinks she doesn't qualify to express her opinions. He blames her that can't hold a pair of scissors and can't give birth. Although she is defective, he has looked after her for so long. He describes her as useless junk without him. At that moment, she stares at the goldfish ornament, which Haruto gives her and encourages her to be tough as goldfish. She decides not to endure his domestic violence anymore, pushes her abusive husband away, shouts at him, and says she is not junk. Then, she escapes the apartment, runs outside and falls on the street. Abruptly, Haruto brings the umbrella and stands in front of her. As he is worried about her, he comes to see her. Then, he hugs her and expresses his love. Haruto brings Sakura to his home and gently cleans her injured legs. She sobs and says that she wants to be cared for like that by someone. He asks her to stay here until she feels better. Then, they kiss each other and have sex. Afterwards, she temporarily stays in his goldfish shop and assists in his business. Someone uploaded the pictures which Sakura Kira, who hugged Haruto and went to his home last night on discussion forums. Every neighbor reads and discusses Sakura's cheating. Moving to the outsourcing wife, Yuka is living in apartment 1612 under the fishbowl wife. She wants a baby, but her husband, Minoru, is not ready for that because they just bought the condo. Although they have a happy marriage, they rarely have sex. Yuka questions herself why she cannot get him aroused. Suddenly, her ex-boyfriend, Jun, feels lonely, contacts her and asks her out for dinner. She then has dinner with him. Since Jun was a playboy before, she broke up with him. During the dinner, Jun immediately points out that she didn't have sex with her husband for a long time. After a forced kiss, he asks her to get a room if she wants sex with him. He pisses her off. As a married wife, she pushes him away and rejects him. After returning home, her husband lies on the bed, and she tries to turn him on. But, he refuses and prefers to sleep. She questions her body attraction again. To check on her body attraction, she decides to have a one-night stand with Jun. She makes sure that her body still arouses someone. After that night, she never contacts Jun again. According to the fortune teller's Feng Shui suggestion, Yuka goes to Haruto's goldfish shop and purchases a goldfish to improve marital relations. Meanwhile, Yuka bumps into Sakura and they have a little talk. As every wife knows Sakura's adultery and leaves her husband, Yuka tells her that she cheated on her husband. After buying a goldfish, Jun finds Yuka, holds her hands and dates her. Due to a long-term sexless marriage, she eventually decides to accept this outsourcing of sex relationship and carries on having sex with her ex-boyfriend. What happened next? Stay tuned for Fishbowl Wives Part 2. Leave the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification, so you won't miss out on any spoilers. See you in the next video.